as always. So, continuing our conversation, Jalas, today we're talking about strikes, strikes, and more strikes. A strike that I myself uh, does not support at all, at all, at because all. Because you're affected? Mm -mm. I'm not affected in any way. Because I go for uh, to private universities. So you are not affected? I'm not affected. So you feel nothing? Uh, very nothing, because uh, just the other day, um, before the strike, mm. was had called for another strike. Yes. Uh, and this was earlier this year. Was, I think mm. must have been earlier this mm, year. Mm. On strike, then uh, an agreement was came upon. Uh, then uh, they went back to classes and they resumed classes. And uh, the lecturers went on only again for them to come out again asking for their CBA. When, what agreement did they have that sent them to class? That's what and we want to know. And that is the question that I've always even asked teachers. Eh? Forget about even the academic staff at the university. Mm. But even teachers, Coupet and the Mumet and all the pets, that <laughs> this association, <laughs> Nat and all the too nuts. Many eh? uh, too many pets. And too, and many too many pets and too many nuts up and down. And so, Nat have all actually sent uh, Muzonzili home. You know, know Muzonzili? Yes, he's he, gone. He's gone. And uh, Socion is... Socion is... We don't know if he's a nominated MP still, and also chairman still waiting to be or nominated. secretary general or whatever position is holding. So joining us in the studio right mm. now is mm. Mohamed Mwachiti. Kapesa. He's a Uwasu technical team member to help us, help us clear the air on this because I am confused. Mohamed, salam alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Welcome to Hot 96. What is this strike about? What are, you, what are these people striking about now? Uh, I may probably be able to uh, to explain by giving a brief history. First, we went on strike in January this year in order to jumpstart negotiations because previously we had been talking to IPOCCF for us to sit on the table and negotiate the 2013-2017 CBA. But from 2013 up to January this year, they kept on taking us on a, a round kind of game. Mm. So finally we decided to go on strike and uh, in March this year, they agreed to sit on the table. We negotiated, agreed, signed a CBA that was registered with the uh, Employment and, uh, and the Labor Relations Court. So after that, they promised that uh, this CBA would actually be honored before or by 30th of June. So we waited for that to be done, but we kept on engaging them. But by the way, by the time we signed the document on 13th of March, they said we might even pay you in two weeks' time. So he said, if it comes in two weeks' time, fine. But our agreement says you should pay before or by 30th of June. So come 30th of June, they didn't pay. So we made some bit of noise. Then they released part of the bargain. Uh, out of the 10 billion that was supposed to cut up for all university workers, that is for the three unions, Uwasu, uh, Kudeha, and Kusu. So they released 4.75 billion in order to cut up for the three unions. Mm -hmm. So when that was paid, we said this is in violation of our agreement. The agreement was everything was to be paid at once by 30th of June. So again, we insisted that we're going on strike. Then they paid the balance in about two weeks' time. So, so they, they paid up the 10 billion? Yeah, the 10 billion now. But strange enough, since the CBA was actually ending on, that, uh, on 30th of June uh, 2017, was supposed now to negotiate a new CBA of 2017-2021. The agreement when we signed was that the new salaries would be effective from 1st of July. Now come 1st of July, five universities implemented the new salaries. The rest did not. The 26 other universities did not. So we continued earning the salaries of 2010. Even as we speak now, the salary that I earn is the one that was determined in 2010. So again, we, we kept on talking to them that we need this to be implemented as agreed. Now, come August, two of, out of the five universities also went back to the 2010 salaries. Now, we realized later on that the VCs had had a meeting and they scolded at their colleagues who had implemented the CBA in full. And therefore, two of them also went back to their old salaries. That is the situation that we have been. August, September, November. Now we are in November. And when you ask them yes. whether you know what's the deal, what do they say? Uh, in fact, they have not been communicating to us. We write to them; they keep quiet. So you decided, let's go and strike now. Yeah. So we gave a strike notice on fourth of September. Right. But then the the the, the timing of it. 
the timing. That's just what I want to explain. We gave it on 4th of September, mm -hmm. and it was we we're supposed to give a seven-day notice. But we said, let's give them time so that they can engage us. So we gave a 21-day notice instead of the seven days. Mm -hmm. This was elapsing on 25th of September. Uh, now, remember that is the time that we had this fiasco of the elections and all that. Mm -hmm. By that time, uh, the date had been set for 17th for, 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 for the election. Eh? So when ours elapsed on 21st, because we thought it would actually start on 26th, when the election has already been held, mm -hmm. Then Chabukati came in and changed the dates to 26th. Right. So we said, we are also Kenyans. We cannot start a strike when there is a general election in this country. So we decided to postpone ours by another seven days. And we did that. So come 1st of October, we had no option. Uh, November. Yeah, 1st of November, mm. we had no option. But of course, we had no option. And time up to now, mm. we have not communicated. Bona Mohamed, ata wewe ukiona ukweli. Wakati mulipatiana notice. Yes. Eh? notice ya kwenda kwa m, kwa mgomo yes eh? Eh. hadi leo kuna vitu ngapi imefanyika ukweli kumekuwa na uchaguzi mm -hmm. na uchaguzi karibu mara mbili sasa yes. ndio yes. uchaguzi mara mbili kumekuwa mavurutano hapa na pale hata hata kama ni strike jamani nani alikuwa aende awazungumzie wakati kama huu it is very hard to try and um, twist the government at a point when you know the government is more needy than was yeah. eh? And Matiani is a busy man. Oh, can you imagine? Who, who, by the way, who are you saying that has not been talking to you? Uh, unajua hapa kuna, I don't know whether you should use it. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, whichever language. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Now, what I'm saying is that, um, you know, we have the vice chancellors. And then we have the, the chairman of councils. The chairman of councils have now their caucus. They call it IPUCCF. That is the body that we negotiate with. And when we enter into any agreement, we enter into agreement with this particular body. Mm -hmm. Now, those are the people who are supposed to be engaging us. And by the way, as you put it, there is a government in place. The same government that was there in terms of the presidency mm -hmm. uh, in March when we agreed on this document is still in place. The presidency is still there. And uh, the three arms of government are there. Mm. Parliament is there. The judiciary is there. In fact, for this CBA that we're talking about, on the 11th of October, Parliament approved the payment of 5.2 billion, and it is in the hazard. You can check in the hazard, and you'll see it on page 51 mm. uh, of that particular hazard of 11th of October. We were awarded the 5.2 billion to be paid, but up to now, nobody's talking to us. So we're wondering who is keeping this money? Is it the vice chancellors? Is it the Minister of Education? Because nobody is talking about it. And if three universities are paying, why are the others not paying? And do you wow. think by going on strike, you think this is going to help in any way at this time? Because your strikes have been so many. People are almost getting used to you yeah, strike. Yeah. What, what I know is that you will strike. Uh, an no, agreement no, no. will a come. A CBA will be signed. You, you will sign a collective bargaining agreement mm -hmm. and uh, you will go back to class. Only to come back again six months later to say that this has not been. Then it's back and forth, back and forth. And while this is happening, do you know the biggest losers? Of students. The students <laughs> who are now out, out, uh, out uh, in the cold. There, some graduations have been delayed. Mm -hmm. Some have been pushed on. I think it's only multimedia. The university that graduated the other day yes. and also uh, down in queer uh, uh, queer that is uh, catholic university but that's a private university yes. but a lot have stalled down at uon a lot has stalled down at ku a lot have stalled at uh, j quat how do you delay uh, how, a child's uh, education uh, how, how do you guys do this can you guys take one 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 mother mother of all strikes then have all this agreement put together then <laughs> Call it a day. Mm. We don't want a country of striking people. <laughs> Nurses on strike. Yeah. Was on strike. Mm. Parliament on, on strike. strike. We are, Even we are, us. We, we are super Even on us. strike. <laughs> mm. It's because sasa zitu kienda ni kufukuzu wa kazi tu kufukuzu wa tu. By the way, we are very reasonable people. And that's why sometimes when we see like there is something positive coming out, we say let's now suspend the strike or let's call off the strike so that we can give our social partners a chance to implement what we have agreed. Mm. And that is what has led us to be in this particular situation of going round, 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 round. Because whenever they talk to us and they promise us, we're also Kenyans. 
we are also parents. We have our brothers and sisters who are at the university. We have our sons and daughters. So when they give us a promise and they tell us the government is going, has committed itself, is going to pay by this particular debt, we have no option but to call off the strike. That's what we've been doing in the past. But the, par but the money was released, yes? The money was allocated by parliament, mm. so the money should have been released. We believe it is somewhere, and this strike is to smoke out that money wherever it is. Uh -huh. yeah. And you think the money is where? Well, since we are seeing that some universities are already paying, it means this money could even be with the, the universities. Yeah. When we talk to them, they say that they have not been given capitation by the ministry. But we know. How are the other universities paying? Which universities were paid? Uh, initially, there were five universities that were paying. That was J.K. Watt, mm -hmm. Karatina, Just, uh, Chuka, and Machakos. Now, come August, uh, J.K. Watt plus uh, Karatina, they went back to the old uh, salaries after being scolded by the other vice chancellors. Because that is what we learned. So, so can, we, can we get this? Karatina had already started implementing yes. new salaries. Yeah. And Chuka. With, and Chuka. Chuka, Machakos. Had already started the new salary. Yes. Uh, with the CBA. Yeah, with the CBA. With the CBA. Yes. But other five, uh, a few others who were not paying. 26. 26 were not, were not paying. Yes. You understand? Yes. So where did Chuka and these other people get the money from? Now, that's the miracle. <laughs> and it's through this strike that you so, shall so, unravel the miracle. So other yeah. vice chancellors yeah. scolded the others, this, the others yes. for, imp for, for, for implementing. implementing the CBA. So meaning the vice chancellors know where this money is. Of yes. course. Kuna, pese kwa mahali. Ah. Kuna watu wanakula. So it's not with the government. No, I suspect that it's now with the vice chancellors. 5.2 yeah. billion. 5.2 billion. Wanararua tu pole pole. Pole pole tu. And when you approach them and ask them, what do they say? What do they say? Is there any communication? In fact, they have not been communicating uh, with us. Uh, we wrote to them. Mm. Even we gave that 21 days uh, strike notice. Mm. They kept quiet until the period elapsed. Then they only communicated us through the media when the, uh, the chairman of uh, councils uh, issued a statement that we should go back to, back to work. That's even not the way that we engage. Because we expect once you have written to your social partners, they should also call you for a roundtable meeting. In other words, keep quiet, go back to work. Yes. That's what they're saying. That's what they're saying. And f as a union, once we have decided we're not going back to work until this CBA is implemented in total. By the way, mm. there are other things which we agreed in March. Mm. Uh, during the return to work formula, we indicated that the internal CBAs must also be negotiated. This has not been done. We have a problem of even statutory deductions not being remitted. Some of our members, they are being deducted for loans they have taken from banks, and the money is not remitted to the banks. So they receive telephone calls from the banks that they are, they are not servicing their loans, and yet money has been deducted from them. Hey, Pension wow. has not been remitted for several years now. No, that's, that's a problem then. No, that's a there problem. is a crisis in the universities. Wow. So how many universities are affected? Uh, basically, I can say all of them are affected when it comes to those other matters that I've mentioned. Mm. But regarding the salaries, uh, there are about now 28 which have not been taken. 28, 20, universities. 28 universities. Public this, universities. These are top universities in the country from UON. From, yeah, from UON, including all KU, the KU. Yes. Mount Kenya. Mount, Mount Kenya, Kenya no, is private. Is private. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow, that's terrible. How many students likely to be home? About 700,000. What? Yes. Close to a million. Close to a million students. Affected. Affected, yes. And this strike is now in which, what day? This is the second week. Today is the 14th So let me, let me ask you. In this same country where Matiangi is the Minister of Education mm -hmm. and is able to give KCP and KCC, KCSE precise... Mm -hmm precise how can we put it we can say uh, execution yes yes we cannot trace where five billion that was released is it where this, some, somebody we, must so, know where it is somebody must know where this money is in fact on wednesday last week we had a peaceful demonstration although the police kept on interrupting they even took our public addresses took our drums because we were beating we had a band so that we move orderly they took our drums but finally we were able to uh a petition to parliament, petition to the cabinet secretary, uh, Dr. Matian. Dr. Matian. Yeah, and also a petition to treasury. So that if they had forgotten about it, that, that petition could remind them. 
because if a parliament approved the money then the money is somewhere in an account somewhere of course it's earning somewhere. interest it's being, no it's someone spending it already yeah. probably if it is not spent it is earning interest 5.2 billion and 700,000 kids are being affected it's shameful and by the way other unions in the public sector including the nat you have mentioned cupet uh, the kenya civil servants uh, union they are already enjoying the 2017-2021 CBA. For us, we are still talking about 2013-2017. How? CBA. Why? And we are also Kenyans like the others. Why are you being discriminated? So that's the question now. Why should people in the higher education sector be discriminated? Is it lack Is of it that you people in are not vocal enough about your, you know, there are few people who are cajoled and brought in into into a table and eat on behalf of all of you. <laughs> Actually, there is no eating, but I think it's our civility that probably is uh, disadvantaging us because sometimes we seem to over understand. And when we understand and keep quiet, mm. and maybe going by our numbers, we can't demonstrate in a way that we can be noticed all over the country, then they assume us. I think that is the situation that they are taking advantage of. Then also when but you now we have reached a point. Mm. We are saying this is the mother of all strikes. We are not going back until everything is paid and implemented according to the CBA. So however long it takes. However long it takes. You people to, are not budging. We are not. We are not. Solidarity forever. Solidarity forever. No, let's start. When I'm Mohammed to party, the tenor, uh, utakuwa base. Minta kuwa base. Okay, minta kuwa soprano. Soprano. Okay. Okay. This is from Mwasu. And this is what they say. This is the mother. This is the mother of them all. Okay. Solidarity forever. Solidarity forever. Solidarity forever. For the union makes us strong. Join the world of View Sasa Entertainment and enjoy the videos you love. SMS the word View Sasa to 40984. Choose your preferred package plan. Select the amount for your chosen package plan, then click next. View Sasa, connecting you to the videos you love. You now I go with the best, mate. It's the hot breakfast with Jeff and Jelano.